What's up, everybody? I'm Jonathan Sewell Sales at Mitchell Mazda on the boulevard in Enterprise, Alabama. And behind me are two Mazda crossover beauties, the CX-5 and CX-50. And we're gonna do a quick comparison in under eight minutes because there's a lot of similarities, but just enough to make them different and make you lean one way or the other. So we're gonna break that down. And plus, I think it's about to rain. So let's jump in. More, more. These are both two phenomenal crossovers, and specifically the CX-5, which this second generation came out in 2017, really has taken the automotive industry by storm and really done very well for brand value for Mazda as it brought more premium features and more Mazda drive to more households. Now, the CX-50, of course, is the newcomer. It's... Um, designed a lot differently, even though there's there's still Mazda underneath, but this was designed to be more of an off-road or rugged first vehicle made specifically initially for North America, which is uh, why it's assembled here in Alabama, which is fantastic, of course. But let's talk about some of the similarities that they have. Powertrains are exactly the same. So this one happens to be the 2.5 liter naturally aspirated in this Premium Plus. This Premium Plus is actually the Turbo Premium Plus. So it has the 2.5 turbo or turbocharged engine. Both have a six speed transmission. Both are standard with iActive all wheel drive. So both platforms are front wheel drive first with extra torque or extra traction from the uh, rear axle when needed or sending some back there for, uh, you know, whatever your uh, needs are at the time. Now, looking at both of these, you can see that this one more rugged means a little bit more of darker accents, a little bit more cladding uh, for protection. But also this is on the new small platform from Mazda, which is shared with the Mazda 3 and the CX-30. But let's talk about the Premium Plus setup. Now this one was refreshed in 22 and you can see that they've both kind of taken similar designs, even though this one looks a little different uh, than just the sleek uh, J's or L's there on the headlights. And you can see that they've both kind of widened out the top of the signature wing down to a thin. So we're not gonna talk about much exterior uh, features as far as the updates on the CX-5, just compare and contrasting. But this one has 19 inch wheels, which of course is premium and premium plus wheel. But on the turbo models, the next two up are also 19 inch wheel. This one on the higher trims and all turbo models have the 20 inch wheels. So that gives us a little bit more ground clearance, uh, but also just uh, fills up those huge uh, wheel arches there and gives us a little bit of a unique style, uh, which is not um, necessary for this size. Also, you can see this sleek side here with one little body line going across. This one actually has kind of shoulders and hips with uh, a harsh body line right here, kind of giving that strength and that width and then smoothing out and then another one in the rear. So you can see that it's, it's a little bit different design. Uh, as far as the Premium Plus, speaking specifically on the CX-5 now, we do have perforated seats and these seat, seat design has been around since 2017. So um, very comfortable seat. However, uh, we'll see some differences in the CX-50. This Premium Plus gives you ventilated and heated seats, heated steering wheel, of course, leather wrap steering wheel, also a lot more sound dampening materials as this is one of the quietest crossovers that Mazda offers, including acoustic glass on the front two panels here as well. Memory seats, also um, something kind of taken or added at the same time to the CX-50, the MI drive. So you do have different driving uh, settings and drive modes for whatever your needs are. As you go around to the back, you also have rear AC vents, fold down armrest with uh, out, outboard heated seats. And as we look in the back here, rear power lift gate, as of course, and a 
40 20 40 split of course if you've seen this video before you know that this one has the shelf and the cargo cover but this is a 40 20 40 split if you can see how it splits there and you have these handles to uh, control that so very versatile cargo uh, storage this one has a brand new interior availability designed to match the earth tone so terracotta which is seen on all the turbo models as an option with exception of the Meridian, which is standard. So you have these accents going across. Also have, you can see this different design here with more of a, a round front seat and these seat bolsters uh, and side bolsters that are very firm to kind of hold you in place. Also uh, perforated, ventilated, heated, heated steering wheel. And you can see that this dash is going to be more reminiscent of the CX-30 because of that platform. CX-50 was the first with a panoramic roof. As far as dimensions, it's actually shorter than the CX-5 to allow for more uh, cargo up top. Standard with roof rails and then, of course, crossbars and other attachments are uh, optional. And uh, this one, because of that pushed out, is actually a little bit wider than the uh, CX-5. But the big difference there is in the cargo capability. So it's six inches longer, and you see most of that in the uh, cargo. So you can fold these seats down a 60-40 split and have uh, a lot more uh, cargo capacity. Also, as they push those wheels out, it's more flat or 90 degrees, so you can have squared items in here, including coolers and it's uh, very capable for all of your recreational needs. Now, the last thing I'll talk about, of course, is the ride quality. Mazda has the same driving dynamics in these both, but of course, as you'd expect, this one's a little bit more uh, on handling, a little bit more feel the road because of the width, also the shorter uh, tires, the shorter um, height of the tires, less rubber, and the CX-5 is more of a comfort uh, ride. So this one's gonna have a little bit more body roll. This one's gonna be a little bit more firm, but you can't go wrong with either of these. If you have any more questions or comments, you can drop them down below or text me at 334-718-0504. I am Jonathan Sewell Sales at Mitchell Mazda on the Boulevard and Enterprise. And you maybe can't see through the clouds, but it's getting a little bit dark and I'm starting to see some lightning pop. So, and oh, there's some rain. Either one of these all wheel drive traction, snow, rain, dry. There's some thunder. Let's wrap it up. And I can't wait to see you in a beautiful Mazda. More.